In this video, we are looking at the problems on page 19 of the chapter two, section two slides. And both of these problems involve changing uh, systems of linear equations into matrices and then solving those matrices. So we're going to start just by changing this into a matrix. And then we just take the coefficients. So 3, negative 2, 1, negative 2, 2, 2, 8, 1, negative 3. And here we wind up with 9, 3, 8. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add row two to row th to row one. Because that'll get that'll change that three in row one into a. One and we want a one in that upper left corner. So we start with one, two plus negative two is zero. That's always helpful. One plus eight is nine. And 3 plus 9 is 12. Still have same second and third row. Negative 2, 2, 1, 3. And 1, 2, negative 3, 8. Our next step is going to be to take row 2 and add 2 row 1. That'll get rid of our negative two and leave us with nothing there. And that's exactly what we want. So our first row remains the same, one, zero, nine, 12. Negative two plus two times one is zero. Two times plus two times zero is two. And nine, uh, sorry, one plus two times nine is 19. And then three plus two times 12 is 27. And row three remains the same. One, two, negative three, eight. Next up, we want to get rid of the one in the third row. So we're going to subtract row uh, one from row three. First two rows remain the same. One, 0, 9, 12. 0, 2, 19, 27. 0, 2, 19, 27. Just a little more room here. OK, so now we're just subtracting row 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Perfect. 2 minus 0 is 2. Negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12. And 8 minus 12 is negative 4. There we go. Our next step, I am going to uh, divide row 2 by 2, or rather multiply it by 1 half. Um, just making sure. Oh. OK, instead of doing that, we're going to switch rows two and three. I'm kind of following the book with this one because I did try this problem once on my own and made a mistake and don't know where I made the mistake. So rather than redoing it entirely by hand, which I could do, I just rather follow the book because it's a little easier. So anyway. Here we're going to take row two and switch it with row three. OK, well, first row remains the same, 1, 0, 9, 12. Second row, 0, 2, negative 12, negative 4. Third row, 0, 2, 19, 27. And there's a very good reason for doing this. Now everything in our second row is even. So when we divide it by 2 in the next step, we are going to have no problems with any don't want to do that. I want to do this. 
There we go. Uh, we will have no problems with any fractions. We don't want to deal with fractions that we don't have to. I like fractions just fine, a lot more than some people. But still, if I don't have to deal with a fraction, I don't want to bother. OK, so we're just going to take 1 half row 2 now. Row 1 stays the same, 1, 0, 9, 12. Row 2, 0, 1, negative 6, negative 2. And row 3, 0, 2, 19, 27, it stays the same. So now we will subtract 2 row 2 from row 3. Doing this, first row stays the same, 1, 0, 9, 12. Second row stays the same, 0, 1, negative 6, negative 2. If we subtract 2 row 2 from row 3, our 0 stays the same. One, uh, 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0. 19 minus 2 times negative 6 is 19 plus 12, which is 27. Uh, sorry, uh, plus it's 31. And 27, let's make sure I'm doing this right, 31, yes. And 13, uh, 27 plus 2 minus 2 times negative 2 is 27 plus 4, which is again 31, which is exactly not necessarily what we want, but it certainly makes things easy for us because our next step is just to divide row 3 by 31 or multiply it by 1 first. First two rows stay the same. Third row becomes 0, 0, 1, 1. Excellent. Now we're in really good shape. We're going to add 6 row 3 to row 2. Which gives us, first row stays the same, 1, 0, 9, 12. And second row, 0, 1, 0 because we're adding 6 times 1 to negative 6, so negative 6 plus 6 is 0. And we're going to add 6 to negative 2 as well, giving us a positive 4. Finally, row 3 stays the same, 0, 0, 1, 1. Finally, last step, we're going to subtract 6 row 3 from row 1. That should be nine row three, not six. One, zero, zero, three is our new first row. Zero, one, zero, four, and zero, zero, one, one. So our solutions will be X equals three, Y equals four, and Z equals one. Moving on to our next example, same question, but now we've got our first row has a 2y as its first element, not an anything with x. There is no x here. So we can set up our uh, system of equations as a matrix this way. Zero. 2, 3, 7, 3, 6, negative 12, negative 3, 5, negative 2, 2, set, uh, negative 7. Well, we do not want row 1 to be what it is. So our next step is just going to be to switch rows 1 and 2. That gives us 3, 6, negative 12, negative 3. And that's nice because everything in there is divisible by 3. 0, 2, 3, 7. 
and row three stays the same. Five, negative two, negative two, uh, so, sorry, five, negative two, positive two, negative seven. There we go. Okay, well then, next step is to divide row one by three. So that's one third row one. One, two, negative four, negative one. Zero, two, three, seven. The other two rows stayed the same. Five, negative two, two, negative seven. So now we will subtract five row one from row three. Rows one and two stay the same. One, two, negative four, negative one. Let's put our bar in there. Zero, two, three, seven. And now five minus five times one is zero. Negative two minus five times two is going to be negative 12. Two minus five times negative four, that's 2 plus 20 is 22. And negative 7 plus 5 times uh, minus 5 times negative 1 is negative 7 plus 5, which is negative 2. Nice thing here, of course, is that now uh, row 3 is all uh, multiples of 2, but we're going to do with deal with row 2 first. So Dealing with row two, we want to divide everything by two. It's not great, but we can work with it. We are going to have some fractions here, but they're just halves. There's nothing wrong with that. One, two, negative four, negative one. Zero, one, three halves seven halves and row three stays the same zero negative 12 22 negative two and i'll copy that one over to the next page and i just lost my pen so this is going to take me a moment There we go. And now let me find that pen. Sorry about that. OK. Moving on. Our next step is going to be to get rid of everything in column, uh, column two that isn't the one in the center there. To do that, I'll subtract two row two from row one. And we can do two things at the same time, so we're going to do that to save some time here. And we'll take row three plus six row two. OK, well. If I take. Um, you know, one, the one is going to stay the same because two times zero is zero. We're subtracting two times one from two. 2 times 1 is 2, so this is going to be a 0. We're subtracting 2 times 3 halves from negative 4. So basically, we're subtracting 3 from negative 4, which gives us a negative 7. And now we're going to subtract 2 times 7 halves from negative 1, so that's negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. And row two stays the same. Zero, one, three halves, seven halves. Now we do the same sort of thing with row three. Zero, I'm sorry, that should have been 12 row two, not six row two. 
OK, so if I add 12 times 1 to negative 12, I get 0. If I add 12 times 3 halves to uh, 22, 12 times 3 halves is. Um, sorry, 12 times 3 halves is the same as 6 times 3, which is 18, which is 40. We're going to add 12 times 7 halves. That's 6 times 7, which is 42 plus negative 2 is 40. Great, so now I'm just going to take 1 40th of row 3. First two rows stay the same. 1, 0, negative 7, negative 8. 0, 1, 3 halves, 7 halves. 0, 0, 40 divided by 40 is 1. And that's perfect. So now our last steps, we're going to do two things at once again. We're going to add 7 row 3 to row 1. And we're going to subtract 3 halves row 3 from row 2. OK, so what that means is we've got 1, 0, 7, negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Negative 8 plus 7 is negative 1. 0, 1, 3 halves minus 3 halves is 0. 7 halves minus 3 halves is 4 halves, which is 2. 0, 0, 1, 1, and we have our solutions. X equals negative 1 y equals 2, z equals 1. That's it for this one, and if you have any questions, let me know.
where's my where's my file? What's going on here? 